Welcome back. What's another great thing about living in South Florida? Well, sitting on this 40-foot Doral without having to own it to enjoy it. This is Chris Anders. You are the president of the Palm Beach Boat Club. And uh, how do you describe your membership? Well, our membership is basically uh, built around uh, private boat owners. We try to get them into the club. That's our biggest market. Uh, we're the largest boat club in the U.S. right now with a fleet of over 70 boats. With uh, Our members can take our boats out overnight. They can do four-day trips. They can travel as far north as Jacksonville, south to Key Largo. Uh, we allow our members to pick up the boats as early as they like or as late as they like. So if they want to go fishing at 4 o'clock in the morning, they can go fishing at 4 o'clock in the morning. So explain what you mean by a club. Well, we own the boats, and then our members uh, get to enjoy all of our boats for a fraction of the cost of owning. Uh, the boats are very high end. We range from 20 foot boats all the way up to 45 feet. And uh, we do all the training on the boats and the member, they get to go out, enjoy the boats, and at the end of the day, just walk away. No cleaning or maintenance. There's a membership fee and then there's a monthly $200 or $300. Yes, they pay a one-time enrollment fee. They pay a monthly fee on a month-to-month -month basis. Uh, the average member is here a little over nine years and uh, they have thoroughly enjoyed the club. And get this, the average member is a former boat owner. Why would they be former boat owners? Well, the majority of most boat owners only go out about six to eight times a year after the first six months of ownership. And being in the club, they, they have so much more accessibility to our fleet, and it's so easy to do. The average actually is about 18 to 36 times per year uh, going out on our boats. So it's more like renting a car, where you pick up a car, drive the car, bring the car back, and leave the car. Similarities to that, except uh, you're on the water and you're really enjoying it. So are you booked up um, all the time? Well, the way it works is our members are allowed to have four advanced reservations on the books at one time. When they use a reservation, they can add one back. They could book four of them back to back and do an overnight trip and travel anywhere in Florida. Uh, they uh, Basically on weekends, even if we go into the weekend busy, uh, we always have 25% of our boats canceled per day, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, that leaves on an average of anywhere from 15 to 20 boats open. And it could be the nicest day, a holiday, 4th of July, and we still have that same ratio canceled. And that way, if people are on standby, they can get out too. But don't think you're going to pay your membership fee and then just hop on a boat and, and drive off. No, we do require our members to go through mandatory training. Uh, we do a, a minimum of five two-hour training sessions on larger boats, smaller boats. Uh, usually they get done in one to three sessions. And we do require everybody to go through the U.S. Coast Guard training safety course. So the boats will come back in one piece and so will the uh, skippers. Well, that's what we, we, we hope for. Okay. <laughs> Chris Anders, uh, the Palm Beach Boat Club, uh, he's the president and uh, he has 70 boats. They're just waiting for you right now. Chris, thanks for being here Thank on you. South Florida Real Estate Update. Enjoyed it, Kurt. Thank you.